Hello guys, in this video, let's create our first Azure App Service. So, we will create Azure App Service in Portal. Now guys, while creating Azure App Service, the important fields which we select are Runtime, for example .NET 8 Operating System, whether Linux or Windows Then, whether we are publishing the code or container Then, App Service Plan So guys, App Service Plan is really important and we will discuss app service plan in detail in our upcoming videos and of course we will select a few additional fields as well then we will have a look at this app service created so we will run this app service we will stop it etc and then we will discuss below features of azure app service in upcoming videos so we will discuss the features like app service plan scale up scale out and auto scale app config settings for different environments and deployment slots etc and now let's go to the azure portal and let's create our first azure app service so guys here let's search for app services let's click on create let's select web app now we need to select subscription and resource group let's give name to our app service so i will say our app service demo let's disable this so that the url of our app service it will be our app service demo dot azure websites dot net okay then yes we will be deploying the code let's select run runtime stack so i will say dot net 8 let's keep operating system windows then we need to select the region so i will select australia southeast now guys this is important that is pricing plans that means app service plan okay so guys we are creating app service and on this app service we will host our application right so behind the scene there must be some physical server which must be providing the required memory cpu and storage right so that required hardware is provided by this app service plan and behind the app service plan there are virtual machines okay so as of now let's say explore pricing plans and as of now i will select this plan that is basic b1 let's select it and i will say select let's go up and so guys there are additional tabs as well like deployment networking etc but as of now let's keep it simple so i will say review plus create and here i will say create so it will take a few minutes for this app service to get created so let's wait so you can see our app service has been created so let's click on this go to resource and by default we are in this overview tab okay can you see this browse so let's try to click on it and guys observe this url so it says our app service for demo dot azure websites dot net so this our app service for demo so that is the name of our app service right and it says your web web app is running and waiting for your content so it's because though we have created this app service but we have not yet deployed any web app in it so let's close this now let's try to click on this top say yes and let's see what happens if i click on browse now so yes it says this web app is stopped right so let's close this and let's start our app service again now guys can you see this app service plan so basically this app service plan behind the scene provides us the virtual machines which are needed to run our web application okay now guys please follow my mouse and can you see this deployment and deployment slots so this is again an important feature of azure app service and we will discuss it in detail in our upcoming videos let's go down so under settings can you see this environment variables and configuration so basically using this environment variables and configuration we can handle our app config settings 
and again that also we will see in detail in our upcoming videos now let's go down now can you see this scale up and scale out so basically we can use these features again scale up and scale out whenever the load on our app service is high and it can no longer handle the additional load okay so again this also we will see in detail in our upcoming videos